Okay, so if it's Tuesday, it means topping our skinny headlines, uh, the big night on Dancing with the Stars, double elimination. It was a big night. Yeah. With one week left, there are now just three couples left standing after a night of high scores across the board. And perhaps the most dramatic uh, was yes. Niall DeMarco's performance. As if it's not impressive enough that he's made it this far despite being deaf, mm -hmm. he danced last night the Argentine tango blindfolded. Wow. So he can't see or hear anything that's going on and yet somehow seems able to just master this choreography. Yep. Needless to say, the crowd was impressed. The judges were too. They gave him a perfect score, perfect tens, 30 across the board. It was absolutely beautiful. What a moment. Um, also scoring a perfect 30, Wanye Morris and Lindsay Arnold uh, with a fast pace, 1920s inspired Charleston, but it wasn't enough to keep them from getting the boot. That's right. And Pittsburgh Steeler Antonio Brown and Sharna Burgess, despite what some critics say was his best dance of the season, scoring a 28, mm -hmm. they're also packing. Yeah, it was probably the only time that he wore a shirt all season long. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I'm complaining. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so that means UFC fighter Paige Van Zandt and Mark Ballas made the cut after scoring a near perfect 29, after dancing a perfect trio Samba with Ellen Burstyn to Hip Hip Chin Chin. She is fantastic. Surprisingly, really, like I wouldn't have pegged her to be this good. When I first started watching the show, I wasn't sure who yeah. the dancer was and who the competitor was. Um, speaking of people who are awesome, our own Ginger Z also managed to make the cut last night. She scored a near perfect 29 with her quick step. And she will be going on to the finals. A lot of people had her um, winning it all. The odds makers had her winning it all at the start of the season. Well, and this week, the voters are voting this week, but their votes will count toward next week. So part of the final vote yeah. that will come in to decide who actually wins the competition yep. are what voters are voting this week. So, so these performances matter, mattered a lot. Okay, good. All right, next, a rare peek inside Serena Williams' Paris Pat. Okay, so after apparently recovering from that unfortunate dog food tasting okay. incident that was back in Rome. Okay, so the world's number one ranked women's singles tennis pro has given us a snapshot tour of her luxurious apartment in Paris. That's right. She showed off some vintage artwork and a sense of style. She displayed her decorated home with uh, has some gray hardwood floors some black matte doors and a pop of color on the windows to contrast the neutrals. Okay, that's exactly what I was thinking. So the tennis phenom shows that she knows a thing or two off the court about space scale and complementing cool and clean contemporary lines with notes of in uh, industrial chic. Those, those, are Matt, <laughs> those are Matt Nelko's words. I love when you have to read something about decorations Fashion? or something about somebody's dress. It's I, great. That I know nothing about. It's, Sorry. I mean, it's like when I cover sports. Exactly. And, or basketball specifically. Mm -hmm. So next, uh, she says that she's not Cinderella and her life has not been a fairy tale. That's right. And that and some other juicy tidbits have been released on this new trailer for Mariah Carey's upcoming E! documentary series, Mariah's World. The five-time Grammy winner is taking fans beyond the glitz and the tabloid rumors and behind the scenes as she prepares for her sweet fantasy tour while planning her wedding to James Packer. She also is sharing some of her many life rules. I'm wearing these glasses because we're in fluorescent lighting, and I have a rule which states that I will not be seen in fluorescent lighting without sunglasses. I know it's very 90s. The struggle is real. Uh, Mariah's <laughs> World premieres later this year on E! First World Problems.